Kaya Eccles is a painter. <laughs> but that's no brush. Well, that's nice. How'd you get it to swing in a circle? Jump the Moon Art Studio serves artists with what founder Michael Bingham calls diversability. Some of these artists never had the chance to create art until coming to Jump the Moon. Bingham made several tools for artists who might not have use of their hands or legs. For me, it's easier to paint like this but that's not the case for everyone. Tim did it to draw a flower. The artist controls the chair. They move the tube in their left hand to manipulate the bottle of paint. Ew. Eccles was in Bingham's high school art class. Now he can give her the same opportunity his other students had. I love seeing uh, the smiles and the, the uh, giggling and the, and the fun that comes when somebody uh, discovers that they can do something they didn't really know they could do before. Like magic. Oh, wow. Eccles has been in a motorized wheelchair since she was four. Bingham says this is second nature for her. Yeah, she's got two eyes. Linda Loosely is another artist at Jump the Moon. Loosely just started using the chair. I didn't know you could do something like that. And we started doing, not realizing beforehand what tremendous art we would be able to produce with that. Bingham says he hopes he can keep creating these tools. It's incredibly gratifying just to see somebody have a new way to express themselves, to communicate, like to make something that is all theirs, whereas before it, it just didn't have the right tools. Because he wants everyone to be able to create. <laughs> Emily Hill, ATV News.